Hello, Patricia O'Connor and Frida Reba Darcy here. And it is one beautiful, crisp, blue Friday. And it would be a nice time to check in. So I thought I would do just that. Um, we're gonna have a little look at how the cypress trees are doing. We're going to see how the cork bark oak has fared after um, after it's trimmed back and attacked with wire by me last week. And we're gonna look in on the coastal oak uh, that we did the same to just a couple of days ago. So first, let's look at these cypress beauties here hanging out in the planter. Um, I can't say enough how awesome the weather is today. Um, it is exactly the kind of weather that you hope for. Uh, it's probably maybe 75 degrees, maybe. And uh, look at that sky. So, um, I had a thought. Some of y'all saw my little bamboo stake there, which wanted, I got that guy to stand up straight and stop leaning. Same with this guy. I thought about running a cross brace of bamboo to give that, um, I think probably a week of standing straight out there, getting all that light would probably be enough to make it wanna, um, harden off. On the other hand, it's not like that's killing me either. That's got it. That's definitely a look. And um, three weeks ago, this was a tiny little shoot that I was uh, really happy about getting it right where I wanted it. And now look at that. Look at it. That's our new leader. This guy these guys, for the most part, don't go jinxing it, Pat. No, no, really. These guys, um, if there's a drawback to cypress trees, is that they're easy, and that's never really a drawback. Uh, I've been easy before, and that was probably one of the better times in my life. I've also been difficult. So I'd have to say the times when I was easy was probably a lot. We were all probably a lot happier than the times when I was difficult. So, yeah. The one thing about the cypress trees is if you live in the right parts of the country for them, they are definitely easy. So that's just really enjoying the look, what they're doing. And to that end, Let's have a look at the Dawn Redwood. It, um, it's got just so many little shoots all over it. It almost looks like a piece of 40 grit sandpaper. It's got so many little buds all over it. And they're taking their sweet time too. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it. It's, it's uh, not in any hurry to push any of it out, but it sure is making a lot of stuff. Maybe it would go faster if I pruned some of that back, but you know what? I've uh, messed with this enough and it kind of let me know it this summer. Um, no, that's not right. That makes it sound like I'm taking it upon myself. We got spider mites and I didn't see it because the color still looked green even though the, um, the foliage was uh, such dry from the underside. Now, Looking back at the coastal oak, um, it's doing really nice. This is the front of it, as you can see the hollow feature there. And that is pretty much it. I think the prune job I gave it uh, on the video where, we, where, I, where I did this, I don't think I did anything to it much off camera. I think that was, 
I might have pruned one thing back. I can't remember what it was. Now, one of these guys got pruned back a little more. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not liking that. Um, but other than that, it's looking really, it's looking really productive. And it's making all those choices. And let's just look down at that trunk and that base and the hollow feature. So these guys, um, they are really forgiving when it comes to the watering. I would have to say I worry about the pines watering them more. And um, so sometimes what you worry about, you make happen too, you know. But on the other hand, these guys, they will give you a signal. They'll put out new growth in that stuff very quickly. You look at it and it looks dainty until you touch it and you go, wow, that's thus the word solid as an oak. Everything about it is heavy. The leaves that look like they would be dainty or thick, like, um, like heavy pieces of vinyl or something, right? Um, so... But on the other hand, those new growths that come out, when they come out all pink and everything, if the thing has actually gotten dry, those will, those will go, those will wilt. And, um, you know, it's like whenever it finally is wanting water, it will tell you. So that's kind of what I'm saying there. Oh, and if you do, if you're on top of it and you see the, uh, you know, like, a new shoot will come out and on the very end of it it'll be that pinkish color salmony color that the newest growth looks and that'll be the end sometimes if you look and it'll be turned down that's saying hey a little dry over here and if you water it an hour later that'll be like that it'll look like at that area it'll look as though it never happened um i mean it still may go back down to a a, a little bit of root damage from that too because if the uh if the tips of the branches are doing that, the tips of the roots probably are too. So, now this is a, um, a quick look at log, our cork bark oak. Got a good watering yesterday. I'm letting it go today. I'll probably uh, check it again later on. If it gets really hot, I may water it. But otherwise, it, it's probably cool to hang out you can see, I was noticing earlier, you can see how loose this wire is. All I wanted this wire to do was to be the other half of this wire. In other words, I kind of needed to anchor it around enough to make, uh, to make leverage with this one possible. So I've got it doing its bend. And I left a little wire left over that you can't see so that when that grew out a little bit, I'd be able to unwrap it wrap it tighter the way I want to because this limb wasn't ready when this one was to my way of thinking and it almost it is now uh, I don't feel like snapping too but I'll probably do that um, before this time tomorrow I will have unwound the, and it also is taking it down the way I wanted it to I just didn't wrap it for keepsies you see how loose it is so uh, I knew I was going to go back and do that over again once that branch got a little heavier and could survive uh, my, um, I like wire with boxing gloves on or something. I don't know. Sometimes I just uh, get really klutzy with it. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that they, they were old enough that I could wire them without hurting them is what I'm trying to say. A little cobweb there. Got a, a leaf hopper. And um, uh, I'm glad to see him, actually. He's, he's welcome to hang out. And this is our new growth, and this is our new growth, and this is our new growth, and it's just in a little while, and that is coming out in, in really nice places. No elbows here. Um, I'll give that a little while longer, and then we'll put some motion in that. This has got a leftover piece of wire waiting for this growth to come out a little more, and it's doing what we like. It's doing really good. Same here. Um, I've got... I've got good motion started in all of these, in all of these branches, and they are uh, all thriving, and I'm really happy about all of that. I'm really happy. The cleanup this year really helped this tree out 
quite a bit and now instead of uh, growing parts of it that I like and waiting to see what some of the older parts of it that I didn't like are gonna do to help me I just got rid of them and um, I definitely feel better about the direction we're going in uh, I don't think that's a I don't know I don't think that's a good spot for that and I've already got some more cleanup as you see this is going to be our branch and all of these guys are um, hopefuls that aren't aren't gonna stay you got to do some pinching here Pat so pinch we will pinchy pinchy don't be getting all grubby so yeah a little look at our pines this guy here is hard to water um it holds water for a long time so i probably need to let it go a little longer than what i have been doing but like i said i find pines hard to water um and that is our small show hen ponderosa and it is just absolutely beautiful and then we're going to pan back and show our larger our larger ponderosa literati yamadori so that's pretty much i don't really have a lot going on except just those little quick catch-ups on the oaks and on the cypress trees um, and just celebration of this day golly uh, October what is this seventh or so seventh eighth whatever it is it's Friday I know that and it's a beautiful day and everybody just seems to be kicking it so yeah um like and subscribe to our videos we're clicking around 300 i think that's awesome uh i'm proud of our little show frida our little dog and pony show is going really well you're doing a killer job babe so thank you all for watching enjoy your friday